Danny again for Confident English again to the ultimate IELTS again. I hope you're signed up for this journey with us. Let's talk about academic test versus general test. What's the difference and which one you should take? The answer to which one you should take? What are your goals? The first thing I want to say, neither is easier, neither is harder. This myth that the general is easier is, is wrong. It's rubbish. It's who you are, what your skills are, what your goals are. But I know a lot of students of English and a lot of people out there, normal people in the street, that writing a scientific paper is much easier than writing a letter to friends in a, in a second language because there's much more forms. And again, writing is one of the big differences between the two. So for both academic and general tests, the listening is the same. The reading is different. The writing is different. The speaking is the same. Which IELTS test to take, the academic or the general, depends on what is your goal. Why are you taking the test? Where do you want it to lead to? If you're getting a score to study in another country, absolutely definitely take academic. If you are looking for a visa, if you're looking for uh, to live and work in a English speaking country, possibly general is all that's required. Again, look at the reason and check what they require. Now, if you don't have a set thing, such as a university saying you need X and Y, or an employer, a, a government agency saying you need IELTS of score of five or six or seven or eight, I would suggest study the academic because, again, there is no, neither is easier or harder. As I've said, that's rubbish. Both are as hard as each other and it's both depends on how much study you do and how many questions that are comfortable for you on the test on that day. But again, for people looking at your IELTS academic score X, IELTS general score Y, especially people who are not very familiar with the IELTS tests, which most first language uh, speakers, like employers, a lot of the other people that will come into contact won't actually know anything about IELTS. But if they read IELTS Academic, they think that's a, a good qualification by the word academic. IELTS General, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and again, they probably don't know there's an academic. But the general just sounds general. It, seems like it's just it doesn't have that power that IELTS academic score X does and again I'd be almost if you have a general score there's nothing wrong with that but I'd almost just put IELTS I wouldn't put IELTS general if they ask you tell them I'd put down IELTS and your score on your resume or any application but on the other hand I would put down IELTS academic X because it sounds academic, university, higher learning, tertiary education, a lot of positives there. So my natural instinct to recommend to people, depending on their personality and their style and, and their goals and what they're doing the IELTS for, what they're being told to take, I would say go for the academic 